Jesus and his friends were quiet as they walked along the narrow path just outside of town. It was a cool, dark night, and they were headed to their favorite place to pray, the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus came here often to talk to his Father, but he knew this time would be the last. Will you stay awake and pray with me? he asked his friends. But it was getting late, and even though they tried, their eyes got heavy and they drifted off to sleep under the olive trees. As they were sleeping, Jesus prayed. He had done this many times before, but on this night it felt different. He knew that it was almost time for him to fulfill his mission. He and his father had planned it since the very beginning. Jesus was about to suffer for the sins of the whole world. The mission was going to cost him his life. Father, Jesus cried as he knelt on the ground, do we have to go through with this? Can we get your children back any other way? But deep down, Jesus knew what he had to do. Father, I trust you, he said. I will do it. Just then, Jesus heard something off in the distance. He looked up and saw torches flickering in the darkness. There was an angry crowd of people heading right towards him. He woke up his friends, and as the crowd got closer, they could tell by the swords and spears twinkling in the moonlight that these men were soldiers. They had come to arrest Jesus, even though he had never done anything wrong. As the soldiers approached, they said, We're looking for Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus wasn't scared of what was about to happen, so he said boldly, I am. When he said this, the power of God knocked the entire mob of soldiers to the ground. Jesus could have easily just walked away, but he didn't. He let the soldiers arrest him and take him away. His friends didn't understand what was happening, and they were scared of what might happen to them, so they ran away. They left Jesus all by himself. The soldiers took Jesus to the leaders of the city, and they put him on trial. They tried to find something, anything he had done wrong, but they could find nothing. So they turned to the crowd of people and asked, What do you want us to do with this man, Jesus? And the people, filled with hate in their hearts, shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! The Roman soldiers then took Jesus and did the most awful things to him. They punched him over and over with their fists. They spat on him and even pulled out some of his beard. Then they found the biggest thorns they could find, weaved them into a circle, and shoved this crown of thorns onto Jesus' head, and the thorns dug deep into his skin. Then they tied his hands around a wooden post in the middle of the courtyard. As everyone watched, they took turns beating Jesus mercilessly with nasty whips whips that dug deep into his back and with every lash ripped the flesh off his body. They beat him like this over and over and over again. After this, the soldiers gave Jesus a big wooden cross and made him carry it to the top of a hill overlooking the city. Once there, they forced him to lay down on top of this cross. They grabbed the biggest nails they could find stretched out Jesus' arms and legs on the cross and drove the nails through his hands and feet. Then they lifted up this cross and placed it in a hole in the ground. And there Jesus hung for everyone to see. This was the most painful way to die that anyone could ever imagine. Jesus suffered more than any man has ever suffered. But on that cross, Jesus also experienced a different kind of pain. Because he took the sin of the whole world on himself, he had to be separated from his Father. God had to turn his back on his only Son. Jesus cried out, Father, don't leave me! But God did not respond. For the first time in his life, Jesus was separated from his Father in heaven and it was the saddest, loneliest, most painful feeling of all. Suddenly, clouds began to roll in and a great darkness covered the sky. Even though it was the middle of the day, the sun could not shine. It was like the whole world was both mad and sad all at the same time. All of God's anger towards sin had to be directed at Jesus. This was the only way that sin could be beaten and his children could be saved. 
It is finished, Jesus shouted. Father, I give you my life. And when he had said this, he died. For the moment, it looked like it was all over. It looked like death had won. But that's not the end of the story. God's perfect plan was still in motion, and he had one more giant move to make that would change everything. <laughs>